Thank you so much, uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Professor Sylvester Garamania. And it is an incredible honor and a joy for me to be here with you. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear us clearly? Very much. Wonderful. And it's so good to see the church in a Tanzania. Uh, I wish I could be here with you today personally and uh, share with you this service. But because we are in a war situation in Israel, uh, I am kept from being with you in person. But I already before promised to uh, Bishop uh, Garmania that I will come very soon in person and I hope I can meet you all uh, directly in your church. But before I share a few words, I would like to hand over the microphone to my dear colleague and friend, uh, Dave Parsons, to greet you because I know he is not a stranger to you. <laughs> Shalom and uh, bonus of to everyone there in Dar es Salaam. Uh, it's good to see you, Bishop Sylvester, and uh, your congregation. And uh, we just bless you from Jerusalem. Thank you for your faithfulness in praying and standing for Israel and the Jewish people. And God bless you. I miss you all much. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much, David, and um, it is a joy to speak to you today um, because Israel today never needed friends and support like today. It is a very critical moment in the history of Israel. Um, on October 7, just a little bit more than one month ago, Israel was attacked by Hamas terrorists that killed more than 1,200 civilians in Israel. Many have been hijacked and taken over to the uh, Gaza Strip where many hostages are until today. And Israel is fighting a war against a very uh, traumatic and a very dangerous terror organization at this moment. But today I'm very delighted as I speak to you to there is a, a powerful body of Christ, a powerful church in Tanzania that is standing in this critical time with the nation of Israel. I want to create in particular our dear national director Stanton Newton, which I believe he is part of this meeting today. So many greetings to you also from Jerusalem. And I want to thank before I uh, continue the uh, Tanzania and church for their faithful and their very generous support for Jerusalem over the last years. I just was informed by, my, by our staff that since 2016, Tanzania has been one of the main supporters of the Christian Embassy, and I'm very delighted and I'm very joyful uh, to tell to you today that over the years since 2016, $280,000 were given as donations to the State of Israel, to the Christian Embassy uh, coming from your country. And I want to salute you here from Jerusalem. I want to thank you because I know these are sacrificial offerings that you gave for the people of Israel. But I'm also very optimistic today because I know the Word of God clearly tells us this is not a promise of the Christian embassy, but this is a, it is a promise that comes straight from heaven that God says, I will bless those who bless thee. And as your nation is blessing the nation of Israel, I know God is going to bless Tanzania like never before. And I just speak to your nation that the best time for your nation is still ahead of you. God is going to do new things with your nation as you are standing with the Jewish people and with the nation of Israel. Now, I want to read two passages to you this morning from the Word of God. One of them you can find in Isaiah chapter 62. And this passage actually spe speaks about the church in Tanzania. Uh, yes, you heard rightly. It speaks about the church in your country. In Isaiah chapter 62, it says the following in verse 6, On your walls, O Jerusalem, they have set watchmen. 
all the day and all the night they shall never be silent you who put the lord in remembrance take no rest and give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem and makes it a praise in all the earth now i'm here to tell you today that this passage speaks exactly about you when i was looking right now on this live broadcast like i see you sitting in those chairs i'm actually looking at an army of spiritual soldiers that are standing right now on the walls of jerusalem and with your prayers and with your intercessions your prayers and your intercessions they are a decisive factor in this critical time in which israel finds itself right now you are the watchman on the walls of israel you might be physically located in tanzania but spiritually dear today your feet are standing on the walls of jerusalem spiritually today your feet are standing at the borders of israel your prayers they are supporting israel in a way that only heaven one day will tell the story of the miracles that are unfolding because there was a church in tanzania that was standing on the walls of jerusalem now the time in which we are right now it is a a, a very dark moment for the history of israel our president with Isaac Herzog, he just said recently, the attacks on October 7, just one month ago, were the darkest hour of the Jewish history since the Holocaust. And that means that Israel at this critical time, as it is attacked in such an atrocious way, Israel needs your prayer and need your support like never before. I want to read you a brief passage from the book of Exodus um, to, to highlight the challenges that we are facing right now in the nation of Israel. In the book of Exodus in chapter 17, Exodus chapter 17, verse 8, we read, And then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. Understand what this place Rephidim represents. Rephidim was the last place of before they met God on Mount Sinai. It was the last station where the people of Israel was camping because God sent a revival of the Holy Spirit coming down from Mount Sinai and God spoke um, audibly with the people of Israel. And I believe that God is about to move in a great way on the nation of Israel. He's going to pour out the spirit of grace and supplication upon the Jewish people, like it says in Zechariah chapter 12. And I believe that the enemy knew that. And like here, Amalek started to attack Israel as they were just on this last position before God was moving with Israel. So Moses said to Joshua, choose for us men and go out and fight with Amalek. Now this is taking place right now as we are speaking right now, as you are sitting in Tanzania, and as we are having this church meeting, there are Israeli fighters which are fighting with this uh, evil source of Hamas or Amalek, we can say. Then he continued his says tomorrow i moses i will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of god in my hand and so joshua did as moses told him and he fought with amalek while moses aaron and her went up to the top of the hill and now listen very carefully it says whenever moses held up his hand israel prevailed and whenever he lowered his hands amalek prevailed now I'm speaking to you as church in, in Tanzania. We need you today on our sides as Aaron and her. We need you to be the Moses that are standing on the hill of your prayer mountain that is standing with Israel in this critical time. We need you to lift up our hands left and right because it is a challenging time and I believe this is the time where God is preparing the church in Tanzania to stand with Israel like never before. And it says whenever this prayer was going on, whenever intercession was going on, Israel prevailed over the forces of the enemy. 
But Moses hadn't quite grow, grow weary. He got tired, so they took the stone, put it on him, and he sat on it while Aaron and Hor held up his hand on one side and on the other side. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun, and Joshua overwhelmed Amalek and his people with a sword. Now I tell you, many people in Israel today, they have grown weary. Many people in Israel today, they have grown tired because of this conflict. Just yesterday I spoke to a, a lady, uh, she's the parent of one of the soldiers, and she says, every morning I'm waking up here in this land with fear what will happen to our children. So many people, David and I, we spoke just recently to a high-ranking government official. He says, I can only sleep when I take a sleeping pill. Since four weeks, I'm only sleeping with sleeping pills, he said. Israel became very gay. And I'm telling you today in Tanzania, we need you on our side, left and right, to lift up our hands to God. And I know that as you do so, Israel will be victorious. Now, I believe that today, even in this meeting, God is calling intercessors. God is calling prayer warriors to stand with Israel. And as we are gathering here today in this sanctuary, I want you to be envisioned to stand on the walls of Jerusalem that your feet are standing on the walls of the holy city. And I would like to pray to you. I would like to pray for the church in Tanzania today. And I want to make an appeal to you here from the city of Jerusalem. I want you to make a declaration today that you are one of those saints that are standing on the walls of Jerusalem with Israel, that are raising up our hands like Aaron and hurled it on the walls of Jerusalem. And if you want to make that confession today and say, yes, I want to be one of those people standing on the walls. I want you to stand up from your seat right now. I want you to be standing and make a public confession. Yes, I'm standing on the walls of Jerusalem. So whoever wants to say, yes, we want to be part of that army, let us please stand and follow in the name of Jesus. I do ask my fresh outpouring of your spirit upon the church in Tanzania. I ask you to come with the spirit of grace and supplication and intercession on the church. I ask you that give prosperity to the nation of Tanzania. As they are standing with Israel, I ask you that you stand with them. I ask you for every single family that is putting seeds into the people of Israel, that you prosper those families. Father, I want to lift up to everybody in this meeting who even needs a physical touch of healing. Heal them right now in the name of Jesus. Restore them right now in the name of Jesus. I do pray for the President of the Republic of Tanzania, uh, the, the Honorable Dr. Samla Suhulu. I ask you that you anoint her with wisdom to lead the nation in wisdom. I ask for the Speaker, Dr. Tulia Axon of the National Assembly and all the parliamentarians that you give them wisdom to lead the nation in your God's way. I ask you for the economy in Tanzania. I ask you for a breakthrough, for a new day, a new season to come. And I ask you also for the church of our dear pastor and bishop, uh, Sylvester, that this will be the ushering of a new season of revival in this church, a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Give unity in the church in Tanzania. Father, we declare a new day here from the city of Jerusalem. God bless you in the wonderful and the powerful name of Yeshua. Amen. God bless you, brother, Pastor Sylvester. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Dr. Bula, for your prayer. Thank you very much for the word we have received, the message uh, from God through you, and we accept all the blessing that you have actually prayed for us and we soon gonna meet you face to face in this audience and be able to touch your hand uh, very soon before the rapture maybe thank you very much dr bula and reverend david
Uh, can you audience please raise your hands? Raise your hands. Wave, wave before Dr. Bura and Reverend David. These are the hands that you are waving before you, our brothers. We are together in this. Thank you very much. We are now getting off. We are back to our service. We are going to give uh, offerings, special offerings for Israel. And you will hear from me soon today. Thank you very much.